So the final thing we're going to consider is what happens when we have constant population size. So just there when we talked about selection, we were kind of saying, uh, you know, what was the proportion of people, uh, of individuals in a, in a given population. But what if there's only room for a certain amount? So from one generation to the next, we, we select the ones that, that carry on, so to speak. And so we're just going to say, well, let's take x of t plus y of t to be 1. We could take it to be a number, sorry, a number different than 1, but uh, we might as well just uh, stick it as 1. Everything else is a, is a, is a scale. And now we, we had that dx dt was equal to x times a, but that just means things are going to grow. So we need to throw in this negative uh, aspect to, to the growth, right? Because uh, as I said, we're, we're not going to let every individual go through to the next uh, generation. So that's a, a, a simple uh, set of equations. But the question is, what is phi going to be? Um, now, of course, we can find it out. In fact, from this, we've got everything we need. Um, if we uh, differentiate this expression here, we've got that dx dt plus dy dt is a derivative of 1 with respect to t, which is 0. So we have that um, 0 is going to have to be equal to, now differentiate, now using this expression, right, to um, ax minus x times phi plus by minus uh, y times phi, which is just equal to ax plus by minus phi times x plus y. But remember, x plus y is 1, so it's equal to ax plus by minus phi. Um, but because this is equal to 0, we then get that phi is equal to ax plus by. And remember, phi is the rate at which we uh, take um, things away um, from the population. And in fact, it's just equal to the average uh, fitness. It's equal to that average rate of, of increase. Um, if we go back to the fact that x plus y is equal to 1, we can substitute um, into all of uh, these things up here. We can substitute in what happens when y um, is equal to 1 minus x and throw that into there. And then once we have that, we have that dx dt is equal to, remember it's x times a minus phi, which is just going to be equal to x times a minus ax minus b times 1 minus x, right? That's just y, which after a little bit uh, more work is equal to x times a times 1 minus x minus b times 1 minus x, which we can just write out as x times 1 minus x times uh, a minus b. Now, we can solve this differential equation if we really wanted to, but the more interesting thing to note is um, that we don't need to, because uh, we're interested in what is the stability of this. So at what point is this equal to 0? And so we can say that's equal to 0 when uh, we have no members of the population of the first type, so when x is equal to 0, or when um, we just have x, so when x is equal to 1, then the rate of change of the population won't, won't change. Or finally, if a is equal to b. So if a is equal to b, so both uh, types of our population are increasing at the same rate, but there's only room for a certain amount of them, um, then we're going to get that... Uh, our situation doesn't change.